keep the fact that our brother Tony is sleeping in the Lord. The liturgy celebration tomorrow will be accompanied with lots of Christian symbols that indicate that life of Tony is changed and not <coughs> ended. Therefore, with the conviction that Tony's life is changed and not ended, may we now turn to the word of God as a source of our hope in the darkness of his death. And consoled by this very word, may we call upon the God of mercies to receive Tony, our beloved brother, in the kingdom of light and peace. The gospel that we have just listened to has its setting on the mountain, a place with less human activities, with more refreshing clean air, where Jesus takes an opportunity to instruct his own disciples about what it calls or what it entails to be a disciple. The eight beatitudes he demarcates <coughs> of how we can witness to his love in a more concrete manner that he calls blessed. So as we gather around our brother Tony, reading the story of his life, I would like to underline one of these beatitudes that stood very strongly in his life as per the invitation of Christ himself. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. I am sure that we all know how challenging the war in Vietnam was. The wound that it left on those I'm sure most of the, the veterans can have a better story than I do because some of them may be on that ground. You know how challenging it was. And when Tony came back, he vowed never to go to Vietnam anymore. But giving it a deeper thought, he went back to Vietnam with a conviction that is praying for peace in the world. His role at the VA hospital cannot go unmentioned. You know, he does. He was doing a lot of advocating for the vet veterans to show that Tony lived the beatitude of blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the children of God. In the Gospel of John, chapter 14, that we shall use for Tony's funeral mass tomorrow, assures us that these very blessed children of God have a place after their earthly life and encourages them not to fear. In the very words of Jesus, he says, do not let your hearts be troubled. Have faith in God, have faith also in me. In my father's house, there are many dwelling places. These words were addressed by Jesus to his disciples at the Last Supper. And we can rightly include ourselves in his audience and apply them to our own hearts and lives as we mourn our beloved brother, Tony Manson. As human beings, we are sometimes exposed to many troubles. We experience a lot of sorrows and sufferings, like the sick, sickness and the quick death of Tony. Yes. It came too fast. Diagonized in October and is gone by December. That was extremely fast. But maybe God listened to our prayers as we prayed for Tony. I never wanted Tony to go through agony. As priests, we normally share, share in the agonies of the grieving families that are in our care. And at times we wonder what sort of words could be the right words to console a grieving parishioner. That was the situation I went through on the Saturday after the passing on of Tony Masson. I wondered what sort of words I was to share with Barbara, and more so on the Rejoice Sunday, as it was, and yet, 
the love of her life was no more. Surprisingly enough, during my visit, instead of I consoling Barbara, she ended up consoling me. It reminded me of an experience as a newly ordained priest when I approached a group of drunkards around the parish where I worked to change their lives and one of them courageously came to me and said, you are just a new priest and you have to be careful because if you are not careful, instead of converting us, we are going to convert you to become a drunkard. It was so consoling when both Barbara and her loved brother-in-law kept saying, Tony has left us for a journey. I came back to the parish renewed and converted with their positive perspective towards the passing on of Tony. Yes, in the passage of John, Jesus teaches us that while we cannot prevent the many losses in life, we are able to find strength and the power with the help of the Lord to get through them. Jesus suggests to us to have faith in God, but also have faith in him. Just like actually saying to us that you have trusted the earthly experts, it's now time to trust it in me as well. Tony himself kept saying that it is already written in the book, I wonder which book he meant. I wish he would talk to me, I would ask him properly. And I wonder where he found that book. But he kept saying that it is written in the book. And so he knew that it was time for him to take the journey, which he embraced very peacefully in Einstein Hospital, in the presence of his beloved immediate family, while listening to the music that his mother used to play for them when they were still babies. That's what it means when we pray for the grace of a happy death. Mm -hmm. Going peacefully mm -hmm. while surrounded with your own mm -hmm. and dying happily knowing that all that you needed to do is done. And one thing that Tony wanted to see done was the marriage of his beloved daughter, of which he witnessed a few days before he happily left for the journey. And I have no doubt that Tony is happy where he is. One of the most amazing things that Jesus reveals to us is what is found in the Father's house. In my Father's house, there are many dwelling places. If they were not, would I have told you that I'm going to prepare a place for you this is consoling to know that God dressed somewhere, permanent place, where Joe, uh, Tony made a journey. And so what Jesus is telling us is that in God's house, which is heaven, there is a good resting place for those who believe and trust in God to take a rest. May God welcome him with all the saints to continue living with him forever. For our Christian faith assures us that life of a believer is not ended, but is transformed to everlasting life. For Jesus, through his death and resurrection, opened for us the gates of heaven. Therefore, death has no final word. It's God who has the final word, as he said, it is written in the book. As Jesus assured us in the gospel, maybe that's the very book that John Tony was referring to. That is the truth and the way that can lead us to the Father. So we continue, my dear brothers and sisters, united in prayer with our brother Tony, that he may rest in peace until we meet him again to share our communion with him and with the Lord. May his soul and the souls of all our faithful departed through the mass of God. Rest in peace. Amen. I will respond.
Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Risen Lord, pattern our life forever. Lord, have mercy. Promise the image of what we shall be. Lord, have mercy. Son of God, who came to destroy sin and death. Lord, have mercy. Word of God, delivered us from the fear of death. Lord, have mercy. Crucified Lord, forsaken in death, raised in glory. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bless those who mourn and are in pain. Bless the family of Tony and friends who gather around, around him today. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, our true home is heaven. Therefore, let us to pray to our heavenly Father as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. 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 Lord Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, you willingly gave yourself up to death so that all might be saved and pass from death to life. We humbly ask you to comfort your servants in their grief and to receive Tony Manson into the arms of your mercy. You alone are the Holy One. You are mercy itself. By dying, you unlock the gates of life for those who believe in you. Forgive Tony his sins and grant him a place of happiness, light, and peace in the kingdom of your glory. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are those who have died in the Lord. Let them rest from their labors for their good deeds. Go with them. Amen. Amen. A peace of God which is beyond all <coughs> understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. And may he bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We are going to listen to the final song, Amazing Grace. 